Hi, I'm Nancy Bruton, and I'm from Portland, Oregon. What is your city like in the United States? Sure, Portland, Oregon is actually kind of a natural wonderland. It is adjacent to Mount Hood and on a river. It's an hour and a half from the Oregon coast. We don't say beach because it's cold, but there's a lot of rock cliffs and places to hike and climb and explore. And it also has some varied landscape, the deepest lake in the U.S. and um, some desert areas. So it's a very wild, natural place. Why did you immigrate to Brazil? I'm very fortunate that I'm happily married and my husband had a job opp opportunity in Brazil that brought us here on a five-year contract. It's actually our fourth country that we've lived in, and so we've had some experiences all over the world. What Brazilian habits catch your attention? Some of my favorite things about the Brazilian culture is their appreciation of music and the fact that they like to dance. I would say another habit that kind of catches my, my attention is the fact that people are very expressive when they meet and that in Brazil you have a lot of interpersonal communication and so it's an easier culture to understand if you don't speak the language because there's a lot of emotion and movement and so I would say that that's one of the things I'm really drawn to. I would also say that one of the habits, the things that's kind of habitual here is that I love that people are really active, they like to spend time with their family, and they um, are big on community and bringing people together. Can you tell us some of your customs? Sure! Uh, in Portland, Oregon, some of our customs is we're big soccer fans. Uh, we're known as Soccer City USA, so cheering on our team locally is a really big deal. We also like to watch American football, so I would say that tailgating, getting together, barbecuing before a sporting event is a big custom that I'm a big fan of. And then, in general, um, families coming together for special holidays like Thanksgiving is an American custom that I think has a lot of value. And I would also say that one of the things, of course, that America is known for is freedom of speech and why that causes a lot of drama as well. It also is culturally something that we're proud of, is the ability to express ourselves in different ways. Why is it cultural for young people to leave home at the age of 18? That's a great question and why I might not have the official answer, I can tell you that it's really ingrained in an American that you are going to leave the nest, leave the home when you turn 18, and it's kind of a rite of passage. It's something that young people look forward to. They look forward to going to university, going out into the workforce, and that sense of independence that they didn't otherwise have. I have noticed across other cultures that I've lived in that Americans don't have as many opportunities to be independent when they're young, that it really does hit when they turn 18, that that's when they get the most responsibilities and experiences on their own. So I think that's part of it. It's really ingrained in our culture that when you turn 18, you're kind of leave the nest, fly away, little bird. Do many university graduates suffer from debt? Yes, in the US, uh, debt is a national crisis for young people. It is definitely something that politically they are trying to work on, but um, many, many people carry debt coming out of college for a very long time. Did you have this problem as well? I did take debt coming out of school. I was very fortunate that um, both in my personal life and professional life, I had different methods and ways to be able to handle those means. I would also say that I carry grants and um, in addition to student loans, so there were some ways of supplementing that where other people don't always have that, uh, things like scholarships. But yes, I did come out of school with a large portion of debt that I had to work and my family had to work to pay off. What have you liked the most about Brazil so far? Oh goodness, that's a loaded question. I've loved so many things about Brazil. I absolutely, I'd have to put a couple things up there. I loved watching the World Cup in Brazil. It's one of my favorite memories. I love that 
locals dance to celebrate. They dance to show all emotion. I also had a great time experiencing carnival and meeting tons of friends along the way. And so I would say that that's a big part of Brazil. And then of course the natural landscapes and Brazil is huge. So I haven't gotten to see even a glimpse of it yet, but getting to explore, getting to trek in the forest, see animals, go to the beach, see Guazu Falls. There's so many things to be proud of in this country.